In this video I will show you how to color one of my coloring pages Wheeler's Oyster Bar. I will put a link to them in the description box and shortly you will see what materials I will use and if you don't know how to transfer the digital pages onto watercolor paper I have a video tutorial how to do it and I will also put a link to it in the description box. Alright, so take your favorite brush. I am using flat brush size 2. It is perfect for small detailed places and with cerulean blue but you can use any blue you have and I will color in all the things that I want blue. <laughs> I like to draw the first layer very light which means more water and less paint but you can color it more opaque if you like and if you didn't know this is a real building so you will find photos of it all over the internet and you can see what color is the facade if you need. For the wall, which is pink, I am using coral mixed with mocha. The coral was too pink for my liking, so mocha toned it down a bit. But I think you can also mix a little bit of brown. It will also tone the pink down. And for larger areas, I am using my round brush size 11. I also color over the letters because later they will be red, which is darker than this pink so I don't stress about coloring over them. For the little roofs, I am using warm grey. I will also use it for the pavement and while the paint is still wet, I will drop in a bit of raw sienna in the pavement just to make it look a bit more warmer and interesting. So for the roof, I want the first layer to be a mix of many colors. On the chimney, I will put English red and on the roof, I will put raw sienna, bit of warm gray, bit of burnt sienna, also tiny amount of black and let all the colors blend together. It will dry very light and this will be a really nice base for the second layer of color later.
when the pink color has dried completely, I will start coloring the letters. I am using English red for this. So yeah, I will color the letters. Also, one part in the hand, not hand, it is like a jacket for the hand that is holding the oysters. And I will add some flowers in the upper window greenery also with this red you can put yellow if you want or pink but I chose the red and then add more details in the drawing like flower pots with the same color Next I am using the color dunes and I will color in the lighter parts of the building like window frames and also on the facade like on the doors there are some lighter parts and yeah all kinds of details I will color in with the dunes oh and basically dunes is like titanium buff <laughs> So, if you have that, use that! The windows I will color with warm grey and in the window that is like uh, the second floor I will also add a bit of yellow and blend it out. So while the grey is still wet I add a bit of yellow and then with clean wet brush I am blending it out. Also the big window, the shop's big window. I am adding warm grey and adding yellow, blending it out and the same with the door. And focus the yellow around those lamps, if you want them lit. For the greenery, I am using olive green. Well, first you need to be sure that the flowers have dried and then start coloring with olive green. And while the paint is still wet, I will also add some sap green. And I want to focus more on the left side because my light source will be on the right side. And then I will finish coloring few details and plants with olive green while also adding sap green. And I add the same color as the facade for the hand, then add some yellow for the lemons and black around the oysters. And then with the black 
I will also color in those mm, little details. <laughs> you, you are seeing them now. I don't know what they are called, but yeah, I am using black for that. Oh, and of course the chalkboard. I will also color it black. I darken these little things and one part of the little roof with burnt sienna mixed with black. Now I am coloring the curtains with the yellow. This is the first layer so also I want it not to be very saturated but like a light layer. We will make the curtains look more dimensional later. And last few details in the first layer of color. So I am using grau sienna for this frame. For the round frame I will use English red and also inside for the frames I will use grau sienna. Inside of the frames I will add a bit of dunes. And yeah, finish coloring the other curtain. Then I am adding yellow to the mailbox, a um, few of those little posters, also English red for one of those posters and black for the door handle. When the first layer of colors have dried, I want to make everything look three-dimensional and saturated, so let's start with the upper part. The little chimneys I will color again with English red and keeping the right side lighter because the sun is coming from there and also the big chimney I will color with the red and add a bit of raw sienna too, just for fun. <laughs> for the roof I will again use all the browns, warm grey, bit of black and just blend the colors together. So. Don't let one color completely dry out before adding another, you want to keep it wet so they blend nicely together. I am adding black to that little part <laughs> in the roof and then with warm grey I will add some shadows which will be like a reflection of a tree somewhere in that upper window. So yeah, just 
warm gray but really saturated color which means more color than the water. And I wanted to darken the blue so I am coloring over that little window and that horizontal part but if you like your blue don't go over it keep it as it is then with English red I will color in few of the bricks but not all of them just like random bricks to make the chimney look more interesting And for the 3D look, I am adding these little lines as a shadow from that upper part. Also, you can add some dots here and there. And I use burnt sienna mixed with a little bit of black. Also, I am coloring the shadow from the chimney. And from the roof, I will also add shadow and also from the window. And then add just some random lines and dots here and there. So upper part is finished, now I am moving to this water pipe, with ceruleum blue I am adding the second layer and I want to keep mm, right side lighter because of the sun, it will shine there so it will be lighter. For this sign I want to darken the outside parts and then blend with clean wet brush to the middle so the middle is lighter and the outside part is darker. And while we are here I will darken the hand, also with the pink. And for all the other blue spaces I will darken like the outer parts and blend with clean wet brush to the middle so the middle is lighter. And where those columns are I will focus something like the water pipe. More color on the left side keeping the right side lighter. Adding sap green to this little flower pot, focusing more on the left side, because again, the sun is on the right side. Also, I will add one more layer of English red to the flower pot, and basically the same. The right side will be lighter than the left side. And if you colored everything in one go, didn't keep it light, you will... Uh, you can just uh, blend out with clean wet brush or lift up the color. So yeah, it's lighter. I will go over these frames 
So for the upper, I am using Graussiana, for the bottom one, English Red. Then on the inside of the sign, I will use a bit of Rau Siena in the corners, blend it out, so it's like, I don't know, it's looking more interesting. And for the bottom one, I will add sap green as a little shadow. I will do the same for the inside objects, so I will add the same color as before, just more opaque, so more paint than the water. And because it will be the second layer, it will look darker and give dimension to the objects. For this plant, I didn't choose like uh, such opaque sap green, so it didn't look as dark as I want. So I just finished the first, no, the second layer of color because you can see the first already on the paper. So yeah, I finished this and then I added more opaque mm, dots like leaves here and there with sap green. For the curtains, I am using yellow. I mixed a bit of raw sienna in the color, so it's like darker. And I want to draw alongside those mm, vertical lines and keep them darker and then blend them out so they are not so harsh. And the same I will do with the curtains at the bottom. For the pink facade, I am using the same color mix and I want to darken some places but leave a bit of um, first layer of the color also shining through. So I want to darken the edges and keep the middle a bit lighter. And I will do this with all the facade. I am just showing this part. For the pavement, I will use warm grey and I will color in few of the tiles and that mm, long, long part, <laughs> thin long part. And the rest of the tiles I will color with a light layer of raw sienna. So they are looking a bit warmer than the other ones. So yeah, just mix them randomly. Warm grey, raw sienna, warm grey, raw sienna. I want to add last few details with the blue, where the blue is. So I am adding little lines, dots. Also already started showing where the shadows would be. So yeah, go over all the blue parts, if you want, of course, <laughs> and add little lines, dots here and there. For this sign, you can keep it as is, or 
at these vertical lines. I think they look pretty cool. So I added them. And the same I will do with the pink facade part. I will start drawing shadows, adding dots here and there. So for the shadows, if the sun is on the right, the shadows will be on the left side from the object. If your sun is on the left, then the shadows will be on the right side from the object. Also, under, because the sun is up. For the shadows in the windows that the like the frame is making, I am using warm grey, but like very opaque color. So more color, less water in the mix. Also, I will use warm grey for the shadow from the chalkboard, that little thingy, and from the flower pot. So yeah, all those three with warm grey. And I will just splatter with green, pink, well, coral, and blue all over red. <laughs> like, use all the colors from the palette, and when that is done, you can use white gouache or white jelly roll pen and add some sparkles <laughs> here and there, basically focusing on the right side. And that's it. Your drawing is finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye!